Welcome to Pro Tips for Prezi. Let's look at some tips for structuring your presentation and working with frames and paths in Prezi. By this point, you may be starting to suspect that Prezi is a little backwards from how you traditionally author presentations in more linear tools like PowerPoint. When authoring in Prezi, you may need to change your approach to focus on the big picture first and the smaller details second. For some people, this can be a breath of fresh air. For others, it can make you want to pull your hair out. Regardless of where you stand, just know that for Prezi, it's generally best to work on getting all of your content organized into a bird's eye view first. Make sure your text and multimedia content is organized into frames, and make sure your frames are positioned next to each other in a way that emphasizes the relationships between important concepts in your presentation. Once you're confident you have a, go a good bird's eye view of all of your content together, then you can start imposing a linear order onto it to use when you're presenting and walking your audience through the different concepts in your presentation. Prezi calls this linear order a path. We'll dig into that now. One big thing you might be wondering about Prezi is, where are my slides? Fair question, but know that the concept of slides is much too linear for Prezi. Instead, Prezi lets you organize information into what it calls frames. These frames can be big, or small, and they can stand alone or be nested inside of each other. Frames are important because they're what you can turn into stopping points during your presentation. And now you may be wondering, where's my slideshow? Well, again, the concept of slideshow is way too unhip in the Prezi world. Instead, Prezi lets you create what it calls a path that you can use to step through your frames as you're presenting. For example, let's say I have these four frames. And I want my audience to see them in this order. One, two, three, four. To create this path, first click Edit Path. That will toggle on the Path Editing view. If you don't click this button, Prezi will assume that you're still in Content Editing mode, where you can add and delete text and frames and multimedia. But once you click this button, Prezi will enter the Path Creation mode, where any interactions you have with the presentation will be recorded in your path. To add frames to my path, all I have to do is click the outline of each frame in the order that I want them to appear. Prezi will add a snapshot of each frame to my path. Prezi will show a preview of the view that your audience will see when you reach that path point during your presentation. Once you're done editing, click the Edit Path button again to lock your path in this order. Then, when you go to present, you could advance through your path just like you would slides in a PowerPoint. Prezi will automatically zoom to each path point as you go along. As you're creating your presentation, you may notice that Prezi tries to help you out a little by automatically adding frames to your path here in the order that you create frames from this button here. When Prezi does that, it neatly place, places them along the screen, just like this. But you may not agree with Prezi about the order of your frames it places in your path. Don't worry, you can reorder points on your path anytime. All you have to do is toggle the Edit Path button. Then you can drag around your path points into a different order, or delete them all together by clicking the small red X in the corner of each path point. So, to sum it up, in the Prezi world, slides are equal to frames, and a slideshow is called a path. You want to put your content into frames, and then add these frames to your path so you can launch your presentation and display it like a slideshow. And one huge and very important final pro tip here, make sure to keep consecutive frames close to each other. Keeping frames close to each other means that Prezi doesn't have to zoom too far when transitioning from one frame to the next when you're actually presenting your presentation. If you position consecutive frames too far apart, you could end up with a dizzying experience for your audience when you go to present. So keep your frames close and your audience will thank you.